Hi and welcome to this quick video. I wanted to do a quick video explaining the use of functions within the global substitution function within Lua, so the GSUB function. Within GSUB you can use functions within the replacement parameter. I've covered this within a longer tutorial about strings within uh, Lua, but I thought it was useful to have a standalone video uh, specifically about this feature. So if I define a string, I can use gsub where I have an input string, I define a pattern, a replacement, and a fourth optional parameter, which is the maximum number of substitutions that will be performed. So if I say string gsub and then define my pattern. I'm going to have a simple capture. See the longer video if you want a fuller explanation of this, but a capture is defined by round brackets, and within the round brackets, I'm defining any uh, one or more letters. So the plus modifier is one or more, and percent a is uh, a letter. So any one or more letters will match this. Uh, white space won't, so this will just capture every word within my input string. Um, I can then define an inline function. So every time this pattern matches something in the input string, it will capture it, and every captured piece of text will be used, will be passed to this inline function. So here I can just return the uppercase version of that text. So if I run that, so I now have um, an output string that has all of the words capitalized. Just to um, show you slightly more fully, if I use a custom character class here, so custom character classes are donated by square brackets, and if I have FLD, so the custom class, custom character class will match any one of those characters followed by one or more letters. So that will match any word beginning in FLD, so fox, lazy or dog. It will also um, match partial words, but I won't worry about that here. Um, so now if I run it, I get my uh, string, but only fox, lazy and dog are capitalized. So every time I capture some text by using the pattern, the function is called, the captured text is passed to the function, and whatever is returned from the function is um, put back into the um, substituted back into the string. Now, within Lua, I can uh, store, uh, store functions in variables. So functions are a data class just like strings or numbers. So I can say a function is, and then my function. I'll get rid of this to tidy things up. So I can then just simply say d equals g sub my string my pattern for the time being i'm using the same pattern and then my function and that's it so print d to my output and there we go now i can uh, modify this if i want so if i just so uh, just to illustrate this and to illustrate one other point if i put um, um, an if clause here, so I, if I say if x equals uh, dog, then I want to return nil, else return the upper uh, uppercase version of the captured text. So this will return nil from the replacement function if it's captured dog. 
otherwise it will return uppercase version of it so clear my output from that and I forgot to include my capture class so basically it's uh, it confused me there for a moment but it, it's converted all of the words to uppercase except dog so basically your replacement function if it returns nil the original captured text is substituted back so if you don't match it's left alone if it does match but you return nil it substitutes back back the captured text or if you capture match and capture text then whatever you uh, return as a non nil value is substituted back in just to illustrate that slightly more fully if i put my capture class back in so my custom character class back in um, so i'm only capturing words that begin with f l or d and run that then it's only cap uh, it's only capitalized fox and lazy even though it printed dog so um, i can further modify this and um, say print the captured text so again clear that and run it so the the print statement within my function here is printing out the captured text so it captured fox lazy and dog but it returned nil for dog which therefore left it alone but it capitalized fox and lazy um, so i hope that um, makes sense just to sort of illustrate uh, this i can you know instead of returning nil return animal and there it says the quick brown fox capitalized jumped over the lazy animal so i hope this um, ex helps to explain the use of functions within uh, the replacement part of gsubs the advantage of saving your function as a variable then is obviously you can uh, use it multiple times so I can for example uh, use it here and I will um, capture I was just thinking what, what to capture this time so I will have a custom class with T or Q and function there we go so if I clear it and run it so the actual uh, G sub function returns two values assigning it to a variable here just throws away the second one the second one is how many substitutions it made and here it's capitalizing um, quick and the it's missing the first the because it's uh, case sensitive and I only defined lowercase t so if I put uppercase t as well um, it will um, capitalize the whole of the upper uh, the, the first the and now it's making three substitutions and I'm using the same function um, as a variable um, in both of the two uh, GSUB calls. So I hope this video is useful. Please leave any comments. If you've got any questions, please leave a question in the comments and I'll try and answer it. Thank you for watching.